Hi guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Jaji here. In today's video, I will be showing you guys a mini makeup haul of some things that I purchased while Ulta and a few websites were having some sales. Most of them are base products, so while I show you guys this mini makeup haul, I will also be doing my base makeup. So if you guys would like to see that and see some of those things that I purchased, of course, keep on watching. <laughs> so let's get right right into it so um first off let me say that this video was supposed to be a mini makeup haul slash first impressions but um i actually recorded this already and i recorded my phone i don't know if it was my memory or what the fuck it was but all my videos were blank they were completely white i could not get them to play so i had to get rid of all those videos legit an hour and a fucking half recording and doing my makeup and i had to get rid of everything so this will be a mini makeup haul, but it will not be a first impression. So um, we're gonna go through everything as I do my face, cause most of it is like face complexion shit. So um, yeah, we're just gonna go step by step in step. We're just gonna go step by step step in my face routine, my base routine, and we'll go from there with all the new shit that I got. All right. So first is the. Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now, I know I'm late to the motherfucking party with this one, but um, I just, you know, was holding back. It's $30, so I was just like, mm, I don't know, but I keep hearing all this great stuff about it, and I like the fact that it's, like, super sticky, and it makes your um foundation stay on longer. It said, supposedly, oh, to um blur fine lines and also help your makeup grip and stick to your face longer. So, here we go. Now, um, it does smell chemically. I noticed that the first time I used it, look, see that? It's sticky. The consistency, consistency, fuck, I can't talk. The consist, what the hell? The consistency of this is um, like a gel moisturizer. I don't know if you guys ever tried like the Garnier or the Neutrogena little gel moisturizers. Well, that's the consistency that this is giving me, which I like because it does. Um, did I put here? It does um help me feel hydrated. So boom, there we go. Next on this list, the Dose of Color Foundation. Boom, boom. Now I got the shade um 120. So if you're about my complexion, 120 is light medium. And <coughs> shit. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. And um, one thing I'm gonna say is I definitely would have went a shade lighter, maybe 119. They sent me like a little sample, little packages, and they had all the tones that were around this shade. And the 119 definitely, definitely, I feel would be better because um, when I tried this, I feel like it oxidized just a little, but it didn't oxidize where it made me darker. It just gave me a little bit of like an orange tint. I mean, it was nothing that um, concealer and powder can't tone down, but if you're someone that just throws on foundation whatever um just keep in mind that this does oxidize just a tiny bit so here we go um now again i threw the box out so i don't remember what this was supposed to do but if i'm not mistaken let's see this is a medium to full coverage foundation it said that it's buildable it has a satin finish and um what else it has a satin finish and again it's supposed to blur I, I believe it said blurs out fine lines and all that other bullshit and that's my problem so let's see so since this is not a first impressions and this is just a makeup haul i guess since that first take of this was an epic fail um i want to talk about the product since i wore them maybe about two three times already and like throughout the whole day so I um I normally use a brush, but we're gonna go in light and we're gonna use this. Anyway, so um I did notice the primer made a huge difference with my makeup. Like one thing that I have a really hard time with and I could just never figure out no matter what techniques I do, no matter how much I switch it up, is the makeup creasing into my smile lines. Like I just no matter what foundation I use, primer, whatever, I just can't fucking help it. It just gets in there. So um, I noticed that with the milk makeup, it's less like normally my lines will be like from here all the way down here. And I noticed with this primer, you could only really see my lines here. But like in this area, they don't really 
show as much as they used to before I started using this primer. So, boom, that's a plus. If you use this pa this palmer, if you use this primer or have used it before, comment down below and let me know how you felt about it. But honestly, so far, um, the few times I've worn it, I definitely, definitely noticed that um, my smile lines were less noticeable than how they normally are and just like look how pretty and even my skin already looks and i feel like it already looks nice and satiny and smooth but we are gonna put another layer just so i can show you guys how this builds i'm gonna tap that in tap in tap 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 in areas where i feel i need it the most so this is us seeing if it's buildable but like I said, it's not a first impression, so I guess this is more just me showing you guys what I bought and how it applies. It is easily buildable. It's not looking cakey at all. This coverage is great, but it still looks like super light on the skin. Doesn't look too heavy. I feel like it did a really nice job evening my skin tone now alone just with the foundation. I really like it. I like the texture. Um, do I find it to be medium coverage? Mm, I don't know. I feel like this is more of like a light coverage, I guess, because it's buildable. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. But um, I would definitely say it's a light coverage. Again, I normally put foundation on with a brush. I knew I wanted to build it up. I um, decided to go in with a sponge for now. So I know that sometimes when you use a... Ow! Fuck! I stabbed myself with my nail. Oh, these are dangerous. Woo. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I know that sometimes when you use a sponge, the sponge could absorb most of the um products, so the application is lighter, but that's the look I'm going for today. So, boom, here it is. Now, don't mind my nasty little pimples I got going on. I'm fucking breaking out. But anyway, um this is the foundation. She cute. She cute. She cute. So, this is dose of color in the color or shade 120 next we are getting into contour and for that boom um i wanted to switch up the way that i bronze and contour and i went and got me a little bronzer stick from kylie this is the collab with her and kendall as you can see boom so this shade is called act natural and i have a problem with this shit. so I mean, I know I should have read whatever. It looks super cool tone, as you can see here. Very, very cool tone. And I figured for contouring, this will be, like, amazing. Because it's not too bronzy. I hate... I mean, I know you could freaking contour with bronzer. Like, there's no rules. But I like that extra mm, that extra definition. So I like more of, like, a, a cool tone contour. And then I like to throw more of a warm tone bronzer over top. So I figured this would be great for that. This just shit looks fucking gray on my skin. When I fucking put this on, it literally looks like I'm a zombie and I'm doing Halloween makeup. Like, this is a no. Absolutely not. But, which is weird, I received this in the mail before I received my foundation. So I tried this and I used it with the ColourPop um, Tinted Moisturizer. No, it wasn't a foundation, Tinted Moisturizer. And I put this underneath. Then I put the tinted moisturizer, then I threw bronzer over top, and I loved it. I thought it looked really natural, really nice. It comes time for me to sit and do that first impressions video that I told you fucking failed. Um, and I tried it with the foundation, and bitch, that shit turned like fucking purple, gray, dark, muddy, dirty. It was removing my makeup. It was just bad fucking news. So one thing I'm going to say to you guys, if you are my complexion or darker, do not purchase the Act Natural um, Kylie Jenner bronzer stick. She does have a full line of different ones, so I'm sure you can find your shade, but don't do this one. Like, I thought this would be great for contouring, but it's not. I'm going to give it one more try um, under my tinted moisturizer again and see with better lighting, because that day I didn't use my ring light. I just did it in my normal room lighting so i'm gonna use better lighting and use it with the tinted moisturizer and we shall see if i can even fucking do anything with it because that shit was just bad Boom, we are snatched and we are back so next what do i do after contouring i go in with concealer so this is the juvia's place concealer 
a new concealer um i normally use the makeup revolution or their tart shape tape and i wanted to give something else a try and i keep hearing really good things about juvia's place um complexion products like their foundation and shit so i figured why not try this since i already got a new foundation no need for the foundation but we'll try the contour um the contour the fucking concealer so this shade right here i know probably looks a little light but i like a brightening um concealer here we are um the consistency is fucking thick but in a good way it's not like thick and cakey it's like thick like this bitch is about to cover some shit thick so let's go <laughs> I like to bring my concealer way the fuck up there as you can see because I feel like it gives that pulled up look. So that is what I'm doing. It blends in so nicely. Look how smooth that is. Next step, powder. I didn't get any new powder. It's my old one. So we'll skip the step. I'll do it off camera and I will come back for the next new item. Alright, and we're back. So um I realized that everything else i did not buy new so i went ahead and finished the other steps off camera which was just bronzer blush and highlight and setting spray yeah those oh but i do have a new setting spray okay. let's get into this shit so this shit says it holds your makeup in place with this lightweight fixing spray the gentle scent adds a fresh feel to your skin while still fixing your makeup perfectly let me tell you this shit smells like ass straight fucking culo like i lit i can't spray this like i cannot spray this when i was doing the first impressions video like i went like and i almost fucking puked i literally was gagging gagging i made my fiance smell this i sprayed it in his face and he gagged as well like this shit stinks so bad like if i had to smell this i wish i could just spray this into the screen and you guys could smell it but honestly like, I, I can't even use this. Like, I was like, okay, well, maybe, I don't know, I can use it, like, and forget about the smell. But no, it's a disgusting smell. Like, if it was, like, a chemically smell or something like that, I'd be able to get over it. But no, it's literally, like, but. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. But it legit stinks. It stinks, like, disgusting. It smells really bad. But, um, so that was what I had for setting spray. But we will not be using it so moving on next um is lips so for lips i bought a few new things i don't know which one i'm wearing yet but um i'll just show you guys some of the new lippy stuff that i bought so from dosa color i forgot to mention they were having a 30 percent off sale that is why i purchased the foundation and i also purchased a lip gloss and a lip liner i own one of their um desi and katie lip glosses and i love them so i figured why not pick them up when they were on sale for 10 bucks and this was on sale for like seven or eight i believe so the shade i picked up is don't be chai so it's spelled kind of like you know like chai tea cute and then the lip liner is nitty gritty and um i tried this lip liner and it's so smooth so smooth so soft so um i love it very pigmented it glides so nicely on the lip so these are the shades i thought they would pair really well together so that's why i decided to pick these two other lippy kit that i picked up ah one of them is missing hold on intermission wait all right, I'm back. Sorry, one of them was missing. This is the cute little Morphe X Coca-Cola collab. This was all I picked up from the collection. It sold out ASAP on Morphe.com, but um, Ulta released it, I think, a week after. And it was on Ulta. Perfectly fine. It's probably still up there. I don't know. But um, not in store, at least not where I live. But it was online, and I just had to pick up this lip gloss set. Unfortunately, I know it's terrible, but I am hooked on Coca-Cola bad i know so once i saw this collection i'm like i have to have something from it and why not lippies you can never have enough lip glosses so um, this is it super cute it's like a nice so um let me ah shit <laughs> they just spilled out whoa but um anyway let me let me swatch these for you guys don't make fun of my swatches of you guys I'm, I'm i'm not fucking good at swatches but i do want you guys to see the colors so, oh, oh, this is gorgeous brown. So here we have them. So this is that red, the 
This is this one, the classic babe. Real pretty, look how juicy that looks. Real, real pretty. Like I like that it's a sheer type of red gloss, but it's not so sheer that the pigment's not there, but it's not like just a thick red gloss. All right, next we have the Cher, which is this light nudie pink, which I think is what I will be wearing today. Real pretty. And then next we have this brown tone. I almost grabbed the color of this brown one, which is Test Maker. Look how freaking pretty that is. I cannot wait to try that with a nude eye look. Gorgeous. So that's this one. And last but not least, Overflow is this little iridescent one. So see in the bottle looks more silvery. But once I swatched it, it's giving off gold tones, which I la 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 la. I feel makes it more wearable because sometimes with these they could get a little white on your lips with the um colors of the pigment that's in it so the fact that this has a gold pigment to it i love because it'll definitely be an easy gloss to wear over top of anything so that's that with the lips and i will be adding sheer on my mouth and let's move on right, guys so that's pretty much it the last item was lips and we put it on this is the um shade share with no lip liner no nothing i think it's like a perfect nude little tint with my complexion love 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 it so that's pretty much it let me just go over everything from the beginning i will be showing you guys some other stuff that i did purchase um within this little makeup haul that i did not use in the video but we will go over it so let's go um first we use this and i definitely have to say love 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 like i said this was supposed to be first impressions but it's not so i have used this this will be my third time and so far love it it definitely definitely does help with the creasing trust me guys i have um a lot of issues with my fucking smile lines by now they would have all been in there and i feel like this really helped um foundation love it again this is probably like my third time using it as well and like i said it does oxidize just a bit on camera you can't tell i can see it more in person but nothing i can't handle and again this is not as tan as i get sorry for me looking crazy but um and again this is not as tan as i get i really haven't been in the sun much so once i get a nice little tan this should match me perfectly so highly recommend this dose of color foundation and these two together love 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 all right moving on the contour stick it was way too cool tone for me but like i said when i tried it with a tinted moisturizer it worked so i don't know if maybe it's the shade of the foundation i don't know but i will try this one more time and if it doesn't work my sister is a lighter complexion than me so i might just give this to her she probably could find better use of it so um another thing that i actually picked up from the kylie and kendall collection that i did not use today but i would like to show is the all over everywhere gloss I la 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 love all over glosses. Like I am obsessed with them. I got some from Elf from their um Jelly Pop collection and they're so good. Love them. Um let me show you Kylie's is a little bit more gold. That's why I got this because the one I have did I say ColourPop? I meant to say Elf. Um the one that I got from e.l.f. is more of like a silvery tone and this is more of like honey gold. It's sticky. It's gorgeous. Um, the way that I use these is with no makeup on my lid because if I were to put gloss over this, my lids are so hooded, as you know, that as soon as I go to blink, I'll have all that creased up in there. So, um, And it does remove your makeup a bit. So just keep that in mind. If you use an all over face gloss or if you decide to buy this one, it will remove your makeup. So I like to wear this with like a tinted moisturizer, light summer, no makeup makeup days, just to give me that glow, that super editorial look. And also if you post looks on Instagram, I highly suggest this because you could just splatter this all over your face, get those good, like super shiny, wet look pictures, and then wipe it right off. Um, so this will come in handy for those editorial type of looks. So yeah, that I picked up with that stupid fucking cool tone bronzer stick. So that's that. Next is the Juvia's Place Concealer. I love it. Remember when I put it on, it looked to be a little bit light, but look, once I put bronzer powder, all that shit, 
I feel it went great. The consistency is amazing. It blends well. I like the thickness of it. It's not too thick, not too cakey, but it makes you feel like something's gonna happen. You know, like it's gonna cover something. So I really appreciate that. Now the creasing underneath my eyes, like I said, I have a fucking problem with that and nothing that I use, do, or change fixes it so if you have any suggestions on how the hell i can figure uh, out these creasy ass under eyes look anyway if anybody could figure out how to stop the creasing in my under eyes without having to get botox or filler please let me know in the comments please i am begging you because no matter what products how expensive anything i try it just always happens at least my smile lines i figured out the solution but my under eyes help all right next was the fucking nat oh my god look this shit knows i hate it it's like trying to fucking jump at me but anyway next was this nasty ass setting spray it's so I fucking disgusting that i can't even get past I, I i cannot spray this in my face like no absolutely not but um something else that i did pick up on the makeup revolution website when i bought this was this little face palette and these little what are these pigment pomades um now i picked this up because i wanted to do a drag look i won't tell you guys inspired by who yet or anything but obviously i will be painting my whole motherfucking face and that's why i got these and um to mix these i bought this la girl white foundation to mix with the pomades and with the face paint to be able to make um colored foundations for my drag look that i have tried twice and fucking failed at so stay tuned for that this was irrelevant just wanted to show that this was part of my little mini makeup haul next was the lippies you know the dose of color the lip liner nitty gritty don't be chai this was super cute and i love 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 them together and then of course my little coca-cola x morphe collab these are gorgeous every color here i love and goes well with my skin complexion so i'm excited to use these i'm using sheer which is this one on my lips now super pretty so that was it guys that is my mini makeup haul i mainly went in for complexion products i wanted to switch it up with my base products well most of it i got on sale because i'm a fucking cheap bitch and you know here we bougie on a motherfucking budget so i've got most of the stuff on sale except for this actually so that's pretty much it guys that's my mini makeup haul i showed you guys every item we talked about it i told you if i recommend it i told you what the hell i'm using it for all that shit all while doing my base thanks for tuning in thank you guys for sticking on until now if you're still here even if you skip through that's okay as long as you made it to this point i appreciate you so since you're still here of course give me a motherfucking thumbs up and of course subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one Thank like you. i always say feedback is always appreciated so make sure to leave me some comments let me know what you like let me know what you've used from this what you haven't used from this how did it work for you and again suggestions on my fucking dry ass creasy ass under eyes please let me know because i've tried it all and nothing helps so we're gonna end it on that note and that's it guys